Hello, this is the directions video for cladogram analysis activity 3. So you need to access this student response document in your uh, student notebook. So what you do is you go to your class notebook, not your student notebook, go to your class notebook, click on that, and you follow the prompts. You go to your name, assignments, A15. So let's go ahead and do that. So here, now instead of mine is in the content library, yours is going to be underneath your name. Do not look for it here. Look for it under your name. If you do access it here, you'll not be able to um, annotate it. It'll be a blank document or it'll be a document that you cannot write on. So you have to find it under your name. Go to assignments and underneath assignments you look for A15. And under A15 you look for A3. So here is the document right here. And I've made lots of self-help videos to help you with this. So the first self-help video is on characteristic matrix. So you go ahead and you watch that video and it'll tell you how to fill this out. Then you'll have a video that will explain how to make a cladogram. So watch that and you'll fill this out here. Then from there, you should be able to do questions one and two by yourself. Questions three requires you to know something about a June bug. So I made a video for you on uh, what a June bug is and how that fits in. And then you will go back and you will extend your cladogram to include a June bug, but you'll use a different color. All right, so make sure that you'll be able to do that using your draw tab up here and you'll use a different color. Then you'll be able to do all of these questions by yourself because you should understand cladograms enough to do that. You'll be able to do all of these questions because you'll be able to understand cladograms enough. And then we finally get down to our last two questions. This one and the um, amino acid cytochrome C sequence and I made videos to explain both of those. So that's what you're going to be doing with this document and then at the end you'll share it with me by pushing the share button up here and copying the URL into the submit button at the um, Canvas website. You'll just push copy link and there you go. If you have any further questions please talk to me, your science teacher.